Good morning all. Welcome back to Silver and So. Today we're going to go ahead and make another traditional quilt block uh, to go in the baby quilt for uh, the square we started with yesterday of the Jacob's Ladder. And we are going to do a shoe fly pattern, which is a traditional old-fashioned block. So I'm going to use where the black is, I'm going to use a stripe, and where the gray is, I'm going to use this color. So I'm going to go ahead and get my fabric cut out, and I will meet you back. So we have all of our squares cut out. So all of our squares are three and a half by three and a half on this one. So you need four, or I'm sorry, five of your fabric number two and eight of your fabric number one. So we're going to take our lightest fabric, which is this, and we're going to flip it over. Now I'm going to watch how I'm doing it because I want in my half square triangles, we need four half square triangles. I want to make sure I get the little prints, uh, the fullest of the little prints on the side that's going to show. So like if I were to draw it here, it, one or the other is going to have half that flower. So I'm going to make sure I draw it that way. So we're going to go ahead and put our ruler on there. Point to point once again. And we are going to draw our line. Okay. Then we're going to take our Striped. I'm going to put it on there. I want to make sure, okay, my stripes are going that way. So in the corner, on the side I want, I want to make sure I get it all lined up just right. Uh, if you're not using stripes or a certain print, then you can put it on however you'd like. But I do want to be mindful of how it's going to fall. Go ahead and put that in. Then the other side. Okay, then when we bring it to the saw machine, we're going to go ahead and sew right down that line. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other three ready to go. Uh, bring them to the saw machine and I'll just feed them through one after the other without breaking the thread, uh, chain stitching them. Uh, and then I will meet you back here. We have all of our blocks sewn now. I've uh, got the same going down the line. So we're going to go ahead and finger press those open just so I can check and see how the placement ended up. And that, then you can decide, you know, if you're using a print, you are looking I think there's more color on this side there's not really a full design but there's a more color so we're going to go ahead and use this side okay Okay, so now that we know which ones we're using, we'll go ahead and pull them back. We'll line up our quarter inch mark with our seam that we just put in there. And, well, I'm going to need a bigger ruler for that, I guess. So you're going to line up that quarter inch mark right with that seam. I'll take our rotary cutter and we will just Bring that down. And then when we iron them, of course, we will iron them towards the stripe. We'll just finger press it like that for now. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these trimmed down and then bring them over to the ironing board, get them ironed, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we have them all ironed and we have them bring that in a little closer to you. So now in order to put our blocks together, there's going to be no seams to line up at all right now. We're just going to flip them over, line those edges up, it's going to use some wonder clips, these are awesome. Uh, actually I got those I believe on Amazon. Um, normally if you buy wonder clips at a, a quilting store or something, you're going to pay like, I don't know, it's anywhere from 8 to $12 for like 
I think a 25 or 50. I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, but I got this whole thing of 100 of them for, I think, $8.99. So go ahead and look on Amazon and see if you can find those. If you're looking for some of those, these come in really handy uh, for different things, especially when you're doing binding on a quilt. Some are awesome for that. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring those to the sewing machine. We're going to take a quarter inch seam all the way along. Uh, I'll get those ironed open and come back and then we'll attach the other row. We have all of our rows done now and I did iron to the outside on the outside rows and the inside on the inside row so we can nest those seams. So we're going to go ahead and flip that down on itself. We're going to line up those seams making sure the top is even and then we're going to nest those together and stick a pin in there. And we're going to do the same with this one. And pin together, we'll bring it to the sewing machine and we'll put a quarter inch seam along there. Uh, when I get that done, I'll open it up, iron it flat, and come back and attach the last row in the same fashion. And then I'll meet you back here with the finished block. Okay, so our block is fully sewn together now. We are going to take our square and square this up. We are doing a nine inch squares on this one. We'll put it on at the nine inch mark and see what we got extra. We got about a quarter inch extra. So we're going to go ahead and slide that over an eighth of an inch all the way around. I'm just looking at my lines on my ruler here. We want to make sure that it's even all the way around. So we're taking off a little bit from each side versus all on one side. That way we don't cut it short too much. Okay. And then we'll just flip that around and we will do the same thing. But this time we're going to go exactly on that 9 inch mark. Once again, I really like these blocks. I think it's the color of them. I think they're really pretty with these soft pastel colors with hints of the darker colors. So there's the other one. So side by side. Yeah, that's going to look really nice, I think. Um, so for our next block, we're going to use some of that stripe again that we used in the first one. And then... Some other floral. I was going to use this one in there, but I only needed two colors. And then some more of that white in there. So we're going to pull out different hues out of them stripes by putting it with this color versus the yellows. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it will be another traditional block. So be sure to, to tune in for tomorrow's video. So let me know what you think in the comments below about today's block. And as always, guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button because we'd surely love to have you here at Soul Granny So. Thanks all. Have a great day. Bye.